well. Sigrun David's daughter is an Icelandic journalist and joins us now live from London. Sigrun, uh, good to speak to you this morning. Thanks for joining us. So uh, that interview was a bit awkward. And how bad is this for the prime minister? Well, it hasn't played out well for him. But uh, the main thing is that uh, this, uh, the information about this company expi uh, came out roughly two weeks ago. And, and he has been unwilling to be entirely clear about uh, about the company and the the nature of the company and so on. So the anger is not only because he is connected to an offshore company, but it's also sort of his unwillingness to be entirely clear about the whole uh, undertaking. Absolutely. And obviously, it, it uh, reminds people in Iceland about the, the financial crash, because obviously these companies are linked to those three failed Icelandic banks. Well, Iceland was, uh, in my opinion, one of the most offshoreized company, uh, countries in the world uh, up to 2008 because the banks had been very energetic, let's say, in, in selling offshore solutions to, uh, to people. So this is something that people in Iceland very much connect to the collapse and so on. And there is very little patience for that in Iceland uh, at the moment. Absolutely. And the, we're looking at amazing things now of the thousands who are out on the streets. And obviously, Iceland's quite a small country, only 330,000 people who live there anyway. Um, what's likely to happen next for uh, the prime minister? Will he survive this? Uh, well, there is a coalition. So he is leading a coalition. And it seems that his other coalition partner, uh, the Conservative Party, um, will m probably, most likely, apparently, uh, withdraw his, uh, their support for his government, and that might happen today. So it seems to be the end of this government and uh, the end of his premiership. Well, uh, Sigrun Davis-Dotter, we thank you for joining us. Uh, thanks for joining us on TRT World.